I'm very excited now. The anticipation. Ooh, I always... Researcher Tile Breaker has made alarming strides in the field of gene repair. His work would not only reverse centuries of deterioration due to excessive cloning, but also allow for stronger and deadlier genetic molds. Eliminate Regor and put a stop to his work. Keep moving. None of the scanners have detected you. I'm very excited now. The anticipation. Ooh. I always learn so much from a live dissection. A dissection? No, 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 no. That sounds too humane. Your death will be... painful. You had me anxious, Tenno. Nervous. Pacing, even. I didn't think you'd come. Such a relief. I'll finally get the chance to hurt you. Would you look at you? Worthless ugly freaks! Come near me, and I'll pound you into a tiny cube! What makes for a great fuck? Uh, it's an easy enough question, but after sitting on this video for over a year, I found out the hard way that it's got a really difficult answer. If there's one thing that's for sure though, it's this. When a fight's done right, you just know it when you see it. I think what's really interesting on this is I've talked to around 30 people about the film Batman vs Superman. I've met some who loved it, some who were indifferent about it, and some who despise that film with every fibre of their being. But one thing that all of those people unanimously agreed on is that the warehouse fight is the best Batman action sequence ever put to the silver screen. Uh, there's just something about it that resonates with everyone who sees it. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you're invested in the plot or what your tastes and tropes and genres are, because when you're in the cinema and you see this... You can't help but squirm in your seat and feel the weight behind that crate crack that guy's skull open. And if you're in the cinema and the action gets you moving around in your seat as you feel every last punch, you know you're watching a great fight. Uh, I mean, one of the things that I think's most curious about this is how people disagree all the time as to whether a film is good or bad. But when a truly great action sequence comes along, almost everyone agrees that that's the case. But what does make for a great fight? Uh, what are the devices and techniques you can use to evoke that guttural reaction and investment in the outcome? from your audience. Oh, well, I think a great place to start is as a general rule, the less certain it is who'll win, the more gripping that fight gets. I looked back to Titan in Infinity War when the Avengers are trying to take down Thanos and how much I was glued to my seat when I first saw that fight. And it wasn't the same kind of investment as that Batman vs Superman fight where the choreography was really good and I felt the weight behind every punch. It was for a different reason and I'm pretty sure that reason was because I knew that there was a very real chance that Thanos might actually win this and that the heroes that we've come to 
care about might not just lose, but they might die. And as the Titan fight goes along, as Thanos wipes the floor with hero after hero, and that fear that someone we care about might die grows, that fight only grows more brilliant with it. And I'd argue that that Titan fight is the best action sequence that the MCU's given us so far, because of just how well it milks the audience's fear that Thanos really might win. And the thing is, we've all seen those action scenes before that are the perfect opposites of this, right? And they're just the most boring kinds of fights where the heroes do nothing but win, 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 and overcome every obstacle as if they're all only an inch tall. It's the fights where a hero has to struggle, where they lose control of the situation, where the plans fall to ruin, and it looks like the villain really is about to win, only for the hero to come out victorious in the end by the skin of their teeth. Those are usually the most compelling fights. And when it comes to example that I think best embodies this point, it isn't Infinity War or John Wick or any superhero movie, it's from the 2018 film Upgrade. And if you haven't seen Upgrade yet, you really should, because it's a really good action film. But the basic idea of this movie is the protagonist is just an average guy who's had an AI implanted in his skull, and it's advising him on how to be a badass, and that in itself is great. It's something we haven't really seen before, so that originality gives this fight that we're about to dissect some really good entertainment value. But what this fight we're about to look at does 